Hey, what's up? My name's Maddie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the best of Bozeman, in my opinion. Um, I've lived in Bozeman for five years now. I've seen the city change quite a lot. And so today I'm bringing you my favorites in Bozeman. Restaurants, bars, breweries, everything like that. Um, the city of Bozeman, or I don't know exactly who it is, releases a like, best of Bozeman list every year. So like Basically every category you can think about for like the best of Bozeman, best bartender, best karaoke, best trivia, all this sort of stuff is listed on this um, list that people actually get to vote on in the city and everything like that. So that's another excellent resource to see like what the best of Bozeman is, but I'm going to bring you my favorites as someone who has lived here for five years, is a college student, and just like with my kind of vibe that I have, <laughs> my personal taste, I guess. So... Um, to start out with, I'm going to talk about, in my opinion, the absolute best breweries in Bozeman. There are nine, about to be ten breweries in Bozeman. Um, and so there's quite a lot to choose from, but my absolute favorite are Map Brewing, which is out on the northeast side of town. You have an excellent, excellent view of the Bridgers. You have um, what's called Bozeman Beach is right there. So you're on this lake. It's lovely. They have a beautiful patio. They have really good beer and really good food. Map is a place I know no matter what time of the year it is, I can go and grab a really good beer and you can sit on the patio. It's an excellent view. Highly recommend. The bartenders there are also super duper nice. It's lovely. Oftentimes you actually do end up getting put on a wait list, especially during COVID times when they're trying to like lower the capacity within there, but excellent place. Highly recommend it. My other favorite brewery is Bunkhouse Brewing, and that is actually really close to campus. It's like a five minute walk from my office to Bunkhouse Brewing, and it's a quite a small brewery. They're only open from like 2 to 8 p.m. Um, every day of the week. They have no food. They just have beer, but they have really good beers in my experience, and it's very small, quaint place. It's very intimate. They'll do like live music and some other events there sometimes. And it's really lovely. They also have a patio. And I just like how small it is. The bartenders know who I am. I go there quite frequently. They, they know me, they recognize me, um, and I just really like it. That's another place that pretty much any time of the year I know I'm gonna find a beer that I like. And for reference, I tend to like porters and stouts as well as sours. Um, I don't care for IPAs, I don't care for ales, I don't care for pretty much anything other than sours and stouts and porters. But those are my two favorite breweries in town. They both have patios, both have excellent beer, very nice bartenders, love it. Um, if you're just trying to look for a place to grab a beer that's not necessarily a brewery, my favorite places to go to are Shine, which is um, a beer sanctuary and bottle shop. So it's basically just a, a place where you can go to get like a bunch of different beers on tap. I'm pretty sure they also have wine on tap as well as like hard ciders and stuff in case you're gluten free or something like that. Um, they have a big patio downstairs that they share with a restaurant called La Paria or just La Pa. So you can also grab a bite to eat from La Pa. They also have this rooftop patio, which is lovely. Not very many places in Bozeman have rooftop patios. And so Shine is excellent. It's on the main street downtown. Uh, great place to grab a beer, grab a flight of beers, lots of local beers there, but also beer from the greater like Pacific Northwest region, which is really fun to just try a bunch of different types of beer. Um, my other place that I'd recommend just going to grab a beer in general is uh, the Bozeman Tap Room. It's another tap roomy type place. They have a bunch of beers on tap. Uh, they will have kind of your more standard beers. So like you can get like Coors and stuff there, I'm pretty sure, as well as some more craft brewing. And they have a way, way bigger beer list, um, probably like three to four times the beer list I'd imagine than Shine. And they also have a rooftop patio and I've gotten fries there once and the fries were also really good. So, um, oh, and they will also do trivia sometimes throughout the week. I think it used to be on Monday nights. I don't know if it still is as well as live music. So that's really fun. So those are my two places that I recommend to just go grab a beer. If you're looking for a place to grab more of like a cocktail type thing, maybe like a, fan, a fun night out with the girls, or if you're going out for a date night or something and you're trying to go somewhere a little bit more schnazzy and swanky and get like a cocktail, um, I would recommend Copper Whiskey Bar. It is so fun. It used to be my favorite restaurant, but they pared down their menu a lot during COVID. By the way, I'm filming this in May of 2021. So all of these could change within like three months because the restaurant scene and everything in Bozeman changes really quickly. But anyway, um, Copper, 
They have an excellent drink list. If you're into whiskey, they have so many whiskeys. Uh, their food menu right now is quite small. It used to be one of my favorite restaurants in town, but they've pared down their menu quite a lot and I became a vegetarian. So the options are quite limited for me there, but that's okay because their drinks are so good. The staff that I've talked to is all super nice. Um, and they have such a cool ambiance vibe. It's in the basement of a like other restaurant on the downtown strip. So it's very cool. It's very like moody almost. There's a lot of like wood up on the walls and everything like that. I love it though. It's great. My boyfriend and I went out there for a date night not too long ago and the bartender actually gave us just a free extra drink that they had poured because we had been chatting up with him and everything like that and he was super cool. But love that place. Super duper cool ambiance. I've been there so many times, probably more than any other restaurant in Bozeman. Another good place to grab a drink, uh, a cocktail or wine would be Plonk. And Plonk is actually, there's another location in Missoula uh, and Copper, there's another location down in Big Sky. But Plonk is a wine bar technically, but they have really good cocktails as well. It can be like a little bit pricey, but it's like this fun kind of hip place to go to. Um, I've personally never had food there, but I've heard that their food is really good as well. They have like a full food menu uh, as well as wine and cocktails. I'm not sure if they have beer or not, but they have a little front patio. I'm pretty sure they might have a little back patio, but I could be getting confused. I've only ever sat inside the restaurant because I've only gone in the winter, <laughs> but that's another good place to go. And then my last recommendation for just getting cocktails is the Sky Bar. Is that what it's called? Sky Bar? I think it's called Sky Bar in the Armory Hotel. And this is a place that's pretty new. The Armory just recently opened in the last year. They've been doing construction on it for a really long time. And, oh, it's Sky Shed, Sky Shed. Um, so Sky Shed is their rooftop bar thing that they have. So a lot of it is enclosed, but they also have this patio outside that you can go and drink on and everything like that. Very cool vibe. It's quite fancy, so it's quite expensive. You'll pay like a couple dollars more for a beer there than you would somewhere else in town. And they have some really good cocktails and stuff like that. Um, I've had just like fries and appetizers there before and it was pretty good, but it's just fun. You're on, in the Armory Hotel, which is I think a nine or 11 floor building. So you're quite high up, which means you have a really good view of Bozeman and the valley and the mountain ranges around it, especially if you end up going out on the patio rooftop thing. So that's another suggestion. So if you're just thinking about trying to find like a bar to go to, just a good old bar, my favorites are the Eagles Bar, which is on the east side of Main Street, and it's like the Eagles Club type thing. Like, it's like a club. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But the Eagles Bar is so fun. They do karaoke on Thursdays. They do bingo on Fridays. It's a blast to go to. They have live music sometimes on Fridays as well or Saturdays, and they make their drinks pretty cheap and pretty strong. <laughs> They've also got a couple pool tables, which is fun. I just really like the vibe there. I love going there for karaoke. It's a good time. You can dance around and sing and everything like that. And then it's also more of the like college bar type vibe um, and not too like uppity. And then my other favorite bar is the Molly Brown, which is in the triangle is what it's called. It's called the Barmuda Triangle, but one of them, uh, one of the bars actually just closed the scoop that's no longer. So now there's just the two bars in the triangle. Um, and the Molly Brown is the one that I like. They have trivia on Wednesdays. It's really fun to go to. They have the most pool tables in town. Um, they also do like live poker if that's something that you're into, but that's another place that you can get like pretty cheap drinks. Um, like Montucky's are like $2.50. Uh, any other type of like mixed, just normal mixed drink that you'd get like a Jack and Coke or a vodka crayon or something like that or $2.50 each. So I love that place. It's very fun. They've also taken COVID precautions pretty seriously, which was nice. Um, in the few times that I've gone, they like require you to wear a mask. They will yell at you if you're not wearing your mask when you should be and they will keep your table down to the proper size as well, which um, I only went out to the Molly a couple times during COVID just to like play pool, but it was nice that they were being, taking COVID seriously. So I like the Molly Brown. Now let's talk about specifically my favorite restaurants to go grab like a bite to eat. I absolutely love uh, Blackbird Kitchen, which is an Italian restaurant, mostly focusing on pizza. They have really, really good wood-fired pizzas, 
their um, service there. I've always had really excellent service. The food is so, so good. Very unique pizzas as well as unique desserts. <sighs> My boyfriend and I went just like last week and we got this really good pizza um, that was, oh, what was, there was something on it that was like quite unique that we weren't used to. And then we got this dessert and it was like this chocolatey custard cheesecakey mousse thing with olive oil and sea salt on it. And it's not something that I would initially think that I would like, but it was just so good. And I've just had a really good experience there. And they recently expanded. So the restaurant is now twice as big as it used to be, which is awesome because it used to be so hard to get a table. You'd have to reserve quite a ways in advance and there'd be like no chance of you walking in and getting a table unless it was at like 10 PM. Um, so that is really good. That's right on main street. Love it. And then I also really like Revelry, which is one of the newer restaurants and it's right off of Main Street, but also very good food. They have pizza, other types of food, their mac and cheese. They have a mac and cheese with poblano peppers, I think is in it. So, so good. That is where I actually wanted to go for my graduation dinner, but I ended up not being able to because graduation was canceled. So my boyfriend and I went um, some other time though to kind of have my graduation dinner but it was really really good food and they also do brunch I think on the weekends I've not personally been for brunch but the time that I have the times that I have gone there have been really tasty uh, so those are like the two restaurants that come to mind to me uh, for my favorites I've not been to that many of the other restaurants in town because a lot of them are quite new compared to uh, the restaurants that were around there's just a lot of restaurant turnover in Bozeman, so a lot of the ones that are around I actually haven't been to, so I can't really say that I enjoy them because I don't wanna lie to you, <laughs> I've never been. Uh, talking about breakfast, absolute favorite breakfast place, Jam, hands down. Jam on Main, so good, and it's busy all the time. If you're walking down Main Street on a weekend, um, anytime around breakfast or brunch, there's a mass of people standing outside of Jam waiting for their tables. It is so good. They have really good pancakes. They have this brioche stuffed French toast that is to die for. I had it like a year and a half ago and I haven't stopped thinking about it. <laughs> it's so good. They have a bunch of mimosa menus. They can do like buckets of mimosas where you just get the bottle and everything like that. They have a really nice coffee menu um, if you're into coffee. Their breakfast burrito is also to die for. If I weren't vegetarian, oh man, I would hound those. They're so, so good awesome place just delicious if you go it's going to be busy you're probably gonna have to wait for a table but it's totally totally worth it i have not actually had anything off of their lunch menu just their breakfast menu my other favorite breakfast place is the cat eye cafe which is across the street from revelry and also so good they have a patio that you can sit out on in the summer and then they have the inside of the restaurant as well and also their french toast there is so good they make a banana bread french toast so they use banana bread to make the french toast and it's so so good and they also have really good mimosa menu there's not much more i need in life than like a good french toast or pancake and a mimosa that's like all i need to be happy in life so cat eye cafe and jam are my two favorite breakfast places favorite place to grab ice cream there's only really two places in town to grab ice cream there's sweet peaks and then there's genuine i personally prefer genuine uh, ice cream company i think their ice cream is a little bit creamier but sweet peaks has definitely started crawling its way into my favorites just because it's a quicker walk from my boyfriend's house so we go there pretty frequently um, but those are two excellent places to get ice cream and yeah I think that's my all I have for my best of Bozeman um, let me know if you have specific questions about other things that might be on a best of Bozeman list <laughs> or if you have questions about recommendations for dinner or something like that yeah let me know in the comments down below or let me know what your favorites are and just know that this is totally subject to change and by the time you're watching this it's possible that these places don't exist anymore because that's how Bozeman is uh, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye